Demons. This woman was attending church. She was in church. Jesus met this woman in church. And she was buying down. And go ahead and read. But when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, uh -huh. Woman, you are loose from your infirmity. You're not buying her up to infirmity. Jesus loose her from infirmity. You see? Read. Buy means to what? So Satan tied this woman up with that sickness for 18 years. And this woman being the daughter of Abraham. And Jesus came in Luso. Y'all watch what Jesus Jesus said, Woman, thou are loose from those infirmities. Amen. And immediately she straightened up. Hallelujah. Immediately she straightened up. Because she was loose from that burden, that, that thing that had her tied up. She was loose from it. Amen. And this is what God wanted to do. God wanted to loose you from everything that have you tied up. Everything that have you bound. God wanted to loose you. I said, God want to loose you from everything that have you bound. 
He wants to lose you. Amen. And things of God, it doesn't matter how long you've been bound to it. God can lose you less than one minute. Amen. You just need to receive it. I said, God can lose you less than a minute. You're loose and free from everything that had you bound. This woman was bound up for 18 years. But after Jesus loosed her, she was never bound up. You never hear nowhere in the scripture where this woman was bound up again. Amen. Because the Bible says, who the Son set free is free indeed. Amen. Who the Son set free is free indeed. Amen. And this woman being the daughter of Abraham, that means she's a child of purpose. Amen. Anytime you, you are called for a great purpose, the devil himself will try and bind you up. And I'm going to show you again in the scripture, again, that that man of God, a certain man that has been called to do a great work, was bind up by devils. Amen. Any times when God called you to do something great, you will know. I said you will know. Because you'll stop, you'll be buying up the stuff that you don't even know how you get buying up to. I'm saying you will know. You will know when you call for something great. Because you'll be buying up some stuff that you don't even know. How in the world I get buying up to this? The reason why the enemy does it to stop you from fulfilling your destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 But we ain't going to be bound to anything but God. Amen. Amen. I say you ain't going to be bound to anything but God. Amen. Amen. We can be tied up to God. Amen. Amen. And loose from everything else. Yeah, amen. You remember this man? In uh, the book of Genesis, maybe in Genesis 49, in verse 19, Genesis 49, in verse 19, I'm going to show you the destiny of this man, and then I'm going to go on the New Testament and then show you exactly who this man is. In Genesis chapter 49, in verse 19. Now, this man was one of the sons of Jacob. Amen. You remember Jacob, whose name was changed into Israel? Yes. Amen. Who had the 12 tribes of, 12 tribes of Israel? And one of the tribes, one of his sons was bound up. And we can go through it. We can go through it, and you gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. And verse 19 of Genesis 49, and it read. Somebody said true. True. Just write that word true. Just write it. Underline it. Underline that word. Because we can see the word. Again in the New Testament. Read. Turn upon him, but he shall triumph at last. Amen. So that means the truth is going to what? Triumph at last. There's going to, the truth is going to take him captive, but he's going to triumph at last. At last. Hallelujah. Amen. So this was the what? Prophecy. This is Jacob prophesizing on his son. That a true shall take him captive. Amen? Amen. But he shall triumph at last. Let's go to Mark chapter 5. Let's go to the book of Mark chapter 5. Let's start from verse 1. You can read, tell, tell, and stop. Now, what does my name in Genesis chapter 49, verse 19? What do you name? God. 
out of God you get Galilee. And watch what Mark chapter 5 says. Read Mark chapter 5 verse 1. Then they came to another side of the sea. Uh -huh. To the country of Galilee. Ah, you see. So this was the same man in Genesis chapter 49 verse 19. The same. Because they dwell in the land of Galilee. God dwell in the land of of Galilee. This is why he was there. Now just remember the prophecy was over him. Right? What was the prophecy? That he would be overtaken by a what? True. True. Amen? And at the end, and at the end he shall what? Triumph. Triumph over them. Amen. Amen. So now, this is the man. Satan John is the binder this man because of his destiny. Sins of God, when your destiny is great, your struggle is great. When your destiny is great, your struggle is great. Some of us didn't understand why we had to go through what we went through. But I come to help you tonight because you have a because God called you for something great. And the devil knows it. He knows that God have a great calling on your life. That's why you're going through what you're going through. 